Hello. So today we are back with another topic, and topic of our discussion is: Is the exercise worthless if there is no weight loss? So most people start exercising, and their motive is to achieve a weight loss. So those who are obese also want to exercise to lose weight. Those who are overweight also want to lose weight, and uh, possibly those who are normal weight they want to maintain their normal weight, and. Uh, so weight loss is one of the strongest motivators uh, for achieve uh, for doing an exercise but i always come across a uh, few people in my opd who say doctor i have been exercising for 3 months or 6 months but uh, there is no weight loss so uh, shall i quit i don't want to continue i want to quit exercising so today's uh, discussion is mainly on that so in in a, in a one line what i want to say is that exercise has benefits beyond weight loss so weight loss is one of the you know reasons people ex- should exercise but that is not the only reason so even if there is no weight loss there are multiple other benefits which occur because of exercising so what are those health related benefits that can occur because of exercising irrespective of weight loss whether weight loss is there or not so first is we look at all the metabolic parameters so exercising is known to improve insulin sensitivity that is reduce insulin resistance it reduces the hba1c levels which is a marker for uh, uh, glycemia or the sugar so the hba1c lowers in people who do exercising and then uh, similarly people who have diabetes and exercise so their diabetic control is better now these three things happen whether the person loses weight or not then the next effect is on the blood pressure so even those who have higher blood pressure the bp is lowered by regular exercising if you look at the lipid profile so exercise is associated with, with lowering of triglycerides and increase in hdl cholesterol levels which is the healthy cholesterol so again these benefits on the lipid profile occur irrespective of weight loss whether the person has weight loss or not then if you look at the you know sleep sleep is one of the very important uh, factors to maintain a healthy life and people who do regular exercising they have better quality of sleep as well as they sleep for you know adequate amount of hours and uh, those who have normal sleep we know that normal sleep is linked to uh, better uh, healthier profile lesser risk of diabetes hypertension and lowering of other uh, disease cardiovascular disease also it also improves uh, regular exercising also improves mood and those who are depressed their depression uh, symptoms also reduce and that is another uh, benefit of exercise irrespective of weight loss and also people who exercise they have better uh, cognition and the brain functions also tend to improve they have uh, better uh, memory also and uh, so these are you know uh, you can see these are not small benefits but these are major health related benefits which occur in people who exercise and whether they lose weight or not and then if you look at other things you know people exercise for improving their uh, cardiac fitness or the cardiovascular fitness there is a parameter we use look at what is called as vo2 max and vo2 max also will improve in a person who regularly exercises whether uh, the weight loss occurs or not and then the last point i want to highlight is the effect of exercising on muscles so people who do gymming or strength training uh, they get uh, more uh, muscle mass and also better muscle strength so and that way they can prevent what is called as uh, sarcopenia and dyspnea sarcopenia is loss of muscle which is more common as one uh, ages that is after age of 40 it is uh, very rapid so so people who uh, do regular exercising the muscle mass is maintained and also muscle strength is maintained and people who have uh, good muscle mass and muscle strength uh, they have lesser risk of falls so less fractures and also longevity is better in them so so today i have listed you know a lot of uh, this health related benefits which are seen in people who do exercise regularly on a regular basis and uh, that includes aerobic exercises like brisk walking running jogging cycling swimming and also strength training uh, like you know which can be done with self body weight using uh, dumbbells or other uh, gym equipments and also by using resistant bands can be done at home or can be done in the gym 
so an ideal uh, setting one should do aerobic exercises about say 3 to 5 times in a week each session should be say 30 to 60 minutes or longer similarly uh, strength training should be done two or three times in a week and each session should be around say 30 to 40 minutes focusing on uh, upper uh, body middle body and also the lower part of the body so different muscle groups should be targeted so so in summary what i would like to say is that exercising is useful whether one loses weight or not and uh, for achieving weight loss if somebody is overweight or obese in addition to exercise a uh, diet also plays a vital role in fact i would say the other way a uh, diet plays a greater role in most people uh, for achieving weight loss in that the carbohydrate restriction is the key and uh, in increasing or uh, having adequate amounts of protein so and uh, in the end i would like to say that these are all the general instructions so please consult your uh, nutritionist and fitness trainer for a specific advice which is suitable to you and uh, if you enjoyed this video please like it and if you have any comments or queries uh, please uh, do mention thank you have a good day